bus fares in Raleigh could be coming to an end next year, but some riders say the free fares are a huge help. Good evening, I'm Liz Ortiz. And I'm Rod Carter. Glad you could join us tonight. CBS 17's Dina Harley is live for us in downtown Raleigh. And Dina, some officials say that the fare should be brought back to increase the city's budget. Yeah, that's the general idea, but one transportation, transportation official that I spoke with today said that the cons of bringing the fares back really outweigh the pros of that. He says the free, free fares are really a lifeline for some people. Hopping on the bus in Raleigh for free. I got to get around right now. I don't, I don't have a car, so I got to get to my appointments, mm -hmm. to school. Go Raleigh bus fares were cut off in 2020 during the COVID pandemic. The free fares are set to expire in June of next year. However, it's up to city council whether that time frame will be extended. Last week, the Raleigh Transit Authority voted 6 to 2, asking the council to bring fares back. Nathan Spencer is the vice chair of the Raleigh Transit Authority and one of the two members who voted to keep those fares free. Our riders are not people who can choose. A lot of our riders are people who absolutely need a system that is reliable, affordable. He says on the surface level, it's a budget issue as fares generated around $3 million in 2019 before they were cut off and authority members who voted for the return of fares want that money back in the budget. $3 million sounds like a lot. It is not pocket change. Um, that said, it is um, $3 million out of a $35 million budget. But Spencer says there's an underlying issue of trying to keep people experiencing homelessness off the buses by charging them money they don't have. It's the wrong tool to fix the wrong problem. Uh, we're trying to adjust a bus system for uh, to, to stop people who need it most. Outside of the homeless population, riders say money is tight in all areas right now, and this little bit of relief makes a big difference. It'd be nice if it stayed free because, I mean, a lot of people don't have the money to pay for it right now. Now, typically, a bus ride costs about a dollar twenty-five. It doesn't sound like a lot of money, but Spencer says that can really add up quickly for families who ride the buses often, especially in a time when people people are already struggling to afford other things because of inflation. Because of that, he says he wants the council to keep these rides free. In Raleigh, Dina Harley, CBS 17. News. Yeah, I can see where that would add up for mm -hmm. sure. All right, Dina, thank you.